Good morning. We are getting ready to set all our rebar at Mavis Tire in Thomasville. We've got all our footer dug, mud mat poured. It's a little slick out from the rain last night. We've got a decent amount of our big mats tied. We've got to put all our continuous rebar, tie some small mats, and then get all our vertical dowels for the masonry. Check it out. Towards me a little bit. Yep. Yep. You're stuck there. We are doing layout for our vertical dowels. We've got all our cages in. These cages will have a pier sitting on top of them and that'll get anchor bolts in for the steel beams. What we're laying out now is the vertical dowels that go into the masonry to keep the masonry from falling over. We are getting ready to bend a bunch more dowels. The drawings have inevitably changed a little bit. So we got to double up our quantity of masonry dowels, which is all right. But we got to switch out the, uh, the rollers here in order to get the proper bends. All right, we are all set up. Got our angle dialed in to get a good 90. The foot pedal's good. See you in about 200 more. You having fun yet today? Well, it's been a couple of hours. We had to get an emergency delivery of rebar. We cut and fabricated just under 300 of these vertical dowels because the plans got changed and nobody notified anybody from the engineering department to us. 
So we cut it, we bent it. We're almost finished putting it in. We've got to make some custom stands to get these heavy mats at number seven bar up off the ground to pass inspection. It's crunch time now. We got about an hour until the inspector shows up. So hopefully we can pull this off. <laughs> Good morning. It is a wet, rainy Monday. We're gonna get these footers poured before it fills with water. And then we've got to pump it out, rip our rebar out, redo all of it. Let's get it poured. you vibrate the joint pretty decent that way it'll bond proper so wait till we're all filled in so it don't run downhill well somebody ran into the laser just kind of nudged it so we got to reset up make sure our height's still the same so with four guys, we tied all of this rebar, including everything in the base, got it laid out and installed in a matter of really two working days. All right, our call lack is here. Four extra yards to finish it up. So that's 64 yards total in the footers. We're fortunate to have front load trucks out here. So we don't have to manage running the chute. The driver will just handle that. Let's watch him get it in there. Good old friend of yours. Come on, John's guys. <laughs> Some of Jan's people. I think that'll get it. Yeah, my friend, the sofa is good. Well, we've got all our rebar caps on. We were about 200 short from all the extra dowels we had to install. Job's all the way done. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. What are you doing? Digging? What are you digging? An electrical trench for the electrician. I thought you were a concrete guy. Apparently so. Electrician's gonna handle it? Apparently not. He had small arms and couldn't arm wrestle. And he lost. So we'll dig the trench for him. Thank you. <laughs>